group in the epigastric region, then angling in the cephaloid. Here I am in the epigastric region straight. Now I am angling it upwards. Green. I can see again ascending portion of the left portal vein, anterior horizontal branch, posterior horizontal branch, peripheral. And if I tilt the probe a little bit in this direction, I can see the right portal vein and I can see the left. This is the left portal vein, this is the right portal vein, this is the ascending portion of the left portal vein. Right portal vein, left portal vein, ascending portion of the right portal vein. At times we have to ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it there. Now if I angle the probe more cephaloid <coughs> in a more cephaloid position, keeping the probe in the epigastric region, angling it to 30 degree angle and moving it upwards. I can see the hepatic veins emanating from the heart. This is the middle hepatic vein. This is the middle hepatic vein. This is the right hepatic vein. And this is the left. This is the left hepatic vein. This one. see the angle in which I am. Okay. I am in this angle. I, I, here I was getting the portal vein branches and when I moved the probe further upwards in a capillite posture, position and moved it a little bit at 30 degrees, I was seeing the vertical vein. At times, again, we may have to ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it. If you can note, I am giving a little pressure to the probe as well to see the hepatic veins. And I lighten the pressure to see the portal vein and its branches. A little bit over here. In this angle, if I go capilloid, move the probe a little bit, I will see the hepatic veins. And if I lose the pressure, move the probe a little downwards, I will see the hepatic vein and its branches. <coughs>